Some animals can cheat death and have a cool secret. They can live even after they're supposed to die. These creatures break the rules of nature and have special abilities to keep going and do well even after they die. Today we're checking out some amazing animals that always have a backup plan for life, just in case something goes wrong. From squiggly reptiles to strange sea creatures, these animals show how nature can bounce back and adapt in surprising ways. Flatworms Flatworms have a remarkable ability that would be considered impossible for humans. If a person's head is cut off, there's no coming back. However, certain types of flatworms don't see it that way. Losing their heads is just a small problem for them because they can grow new heads instead. This surprising skill has kept them alive since, well, the beginning of time. What's even more interesting is that not all flatworms can do this. Out of 35 species studied, only 5 of them can regenerate new heads. This goes against the idea that closely related species should have similar abilities. In a unique experiment, some flatworms were sent to the International Space Station. One of these space-traveling worms grew a new head after part of its body was removed, resulting in a two-headed worm. This kind of regeneration is extremely rare and surprised scientists. Although the exact reason for this phenomenon is unknown, some theories suggest it might be related to changes in the Earth's magnetic field, gravity fluctuations, or the stress the worms experience during space travel. Interestingly, when these space worms returned to Earth, they were different from their counterparts left behind. This experiment, originally meant to study the effects of space on the worms, led to unexpected discoveries, adding more intrigue to the research. If the idea of a creature growing a second head surprises you, get ready for even more fascinating revelations. The Immortal Jellyfish The jellyfish is a mysterious creature that earned its captivating nickname because it can do something extraordinary. It can defy the usual rules of life and death. Unlike most living things, this jellyfish can only be destroyed by physical harm, like being eaten by a predator, reaching a point where it can't regenerate anymore. However, if it's not completely destroyed, the jellyfish shows incredible resilience. When it's wounded or senses a serious threat to its life, it goes into action. It has a unique survival mechanism that's like turning back time to when it was very young. Imagine a surreal scenario, going back to your younger self just before the end of your life, keeping all your knowledge but having a rejuvenated body. This jellyfish does something similar, cyclically going back to a previous stage of its life cycle. Scientists are fascinated by this and are trying to figure out how this species accomplishes such an amazing feat. They want to understand the factors that led to this development. The immortal jellyfish has become a focus of scientific attention, and experts are putting a lot of effort into unraveling the secrets in its biological makeup. They genuinely believe that this species might hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of eternal life. Cockroaches Cockroaches are tough opponents for many households, presenting a significant challenge because of their remarkable ability to survive various attempts to get rid of them. Unlike common pests such as ants, spiders, or rodents, cockroaches seem almost indestructible. They can withstand being stepped on, swatted with a newspaper, or even drowned. What makes them so difficult to eliminate? Ironically, it's their biology. Cockroaches have incredibly strong and flexible exoskeletons that make them nearly invulnerable to being squashed. Their ability to contort their bodies into small spaces adds to their survival skills. From a fascinating perspective, cockroaches can endure forces up to 900 times greater than their body weight. Surprisingly, even if you remove their heads, they don't give up. They breathe through tiny holes in their bodies, not their mouths, so decapitation doesn't stop them. Now here's the surprising part, cockroaches can even survive the impact of a nuclear bomb. Because their bodies are mainly made up of muscle and tissue, they can endure nuclear radiation. This means that eradicating a single cockroach would require a dose significantly higher than what would be fatal to a human. So these relentless pests have some incredible survival skills that make them quite challenging to deal with. Octopus Let's explore the fascinating world of octopuses and their remarkable tentacles. While it might seem like an octopus is just pretending to be dead at times, rest assured it's truly deceased when it comes to an end. However, there's a captivating twist when it comes to its tentacles. If an octopus loses one, it has the amazing ability to grow it back. What's even more surprising is that the detached tentacle continues to move. 
This movement is possible due to the complex nervous system embedded within the tentacle. Even after the octopus itself has passed away, the tentacles can respond to stimuli, shedding light on the persistence of movement seen in cooked octopus dishes. In these dishes, the arms may still show signs of life. Eating these dishes requires caution, especially with live octopuses, as their arms can pose a potential threat to your airway, making it a risky experience. Despite this, octopuses recognize the superiority of their tentacles and might use them as weapons against adversaries, showcasing the sophistication of these extraordinary limbs. Tardigrade The microscopic world introduces us to a remarkable species known as the water bear or, scientifically, the tardigrade. Despite its cute nickname, the tardigrade is far from a conventional pet. First discovered in 1773, this eight-legged segmented micro-animal has proven to be an extraordinary survivor, found in various environments across the Earth's biosphere. From the Antarctic and tropical rainforests to the deep sea and mountain summits, these tiny creatures from the ocean's depths exhibit unparalleled resilience. They can withstand temperatures ranging from a scorching 150 degrees Celsius to a freezing minus 20 degrees Celsius for decades. But their survival skills don't stop there. Tardigrades can endure radiation from space and thermal burns from volcanic eruptions at the ocean's bottom. Studies consistently showcase their status as among the most robust creatures on the planet, capable of thriving in harsh conditions that would spell doom for most other animals. Their extraordinary endurance extends to potential threats including high pressure, extreme temperatures, radiation exposure, dehydration, and malnutrition. Even when subjected to dehydration, a state known as their dormant phase, these remarkable micro-animals can exist as shriveled-up husks for years. Once rehydrated, they miraculously spring back to life, seemingly untouched by the passage of time. These tiny wonders demand a Herculean effort to be brought down by challenges that would readily conquer most other living beings. Salamanders Salamanders, while lacking the power of resurrection, have an extraordinary ability to regenerate lost limbs, capturing the interest of scientists for nearly a century. Similar to the octopus, salamanders exhibit impressive regenerative capacity, using a unique skin type to seal wounds and then regenerating tissues to grow a new body part. This trait is particularly fascinating because the newly grown limb is just as functional as the lost one. Certain species, like the axolotti, take regeneration to the next level by initiating the process almost immediately. In just a few hours, the lost limb begins to grow back. Though not at a fast speed, the pace is commendable. This raises the intriguing question, can humans achieve such regeneration? Many researchers are exploring limb regeneration for its potential applications. If successful and replicable in other creatures, the possibilities could be limitless. Imagine a future where the loss of a limb doesn't mean a permanent reliance on prosthetics. Successful scientific endeavors could give individuals the opportunity to regrow lost limbs over time, albeit with some pain and unsettling moments. Despite potential discomfort, the benefits of those suffering from such conditions are immense. Scientists diligently study organisms like salamanders, hoping to unlock the secrets of limb regeneration and apply this knowledge to improve human lives. Fruit flies. These ever-present nuisances seem determined to disrupt our peace. Fruit flies, those tiny airborne acrobats, appear to live almost indefinitely. They can detect your approach, making swatting them a challenging task. Remarkably resilient, they endure freezing temperatures and even the intense heat of a microwave. In an intriguing scenario, the female fruit fly, if accidentally decapitated, survives and starts emitting a male mating song operating on a predominantly unisex system. This surprising revelation has led researchers to re-evaluate the dynamics between fruit fly males and females, suggesting a closer connection than previously assumed. In an astonishing twist, fruit flies have proven more resilient to nuclear radiation than cockroaches, as demonstrated in an episode of Mythbusters. This further underscores their seemingly invincible nature, leaving us in awe of their remarkable endurance. Lungfish One common misconception is that fish cannot breathe unless submerged in water. While this statement is generally accurate for most fish, there are exceptions, and one such exception is the lungfish. As its name cleverly suggests, 
This unique fish possesses an extraordinary ability to extract oxygen directly from the air, similar to terrestrial creatures, thanks to its highly advanced respiratory system. Thriving in fresh water, these lungfish can endure for months, sometimes years, without access to water while residing on land. Studies intriguingly indicate that certain lungfish species gradually lose their reliance on gills as they approach adulthood, adapting to breathing air. After all, who needs gills when you can simply inhale that slightly contaminated but oh-so-delicious air? Well, maybe not the contaminated part. The paradox lies in the fact that despite being fished, these creatures cannot live their entire lives submerged underwater. Surprisingly, they would drown if they didn't regularly surface to breathe. So while these fish cannot survive solely in water, they are equally incapable of surviving without it. Now that's irony for you. Wolf Eel Like its Animal Kingdom counterparts, the wolf eel faces decapitation as a rather inconvenient event. However, it refuses to let the absence of a head hinder its abilities. In fact, without a head, it remains just as deadly. Despite its misleading name, the wolf eel is not an eel but a wolf fish. Although neither venomous nor poisonous, this creature stands out as a formidable and dangerous entity. Its notorious tendency to bite persists even after its demise and decapitation. Post-mortem muscular spasms are visible in the severed wolf eel, and the sight is undeniably eerie. For those foolhardy enough to venture into a dead fish's mouth, a surprising revelation awaits. It remains eager to bite. While the wolf eel does pose risks, experts attribute the source of its bite to touch receptors triggering an automatic closure of its jaws through a central pattern generator. The survival of the wolf eel amidst ongoing threats from humans and predators seeking to reduce their population raises a compelling question. Why aren't they extinct by now? The answer partly lies in conservation efforts that have been crucial in preserving their numbers. Additionally, their prolific reproduction capabilities contribute to their resilience. A lone female wolf eel can lay 10,000 eggs during a mating season. While many fall prey to predators, the survival of even a few individuals can sustain entire communities. As we witness the current stability of the wolf eel population, we hope these conservation efforts will continue to safeguard their future. Bark Scorpion Great news for those residing in freezing or scorching locales, encountering a bark scorpion is highly unlikely. While wearing shoes is generally advisable, especially considering the mysteries that might lurk on the floor, it becomes particularly crucial in moderate or average climates. The bark scorpion favors temperatures between 11 and 40 degrees Celsius or 52 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit, yet they've demonstrated resilience in colder and hotter extremes such as freezing temperatures and scorching deserts, but let's not delve into that now. The real curiosity lies in understanding how these creatures deliver a sting posthumously. Unfortunately, it's a fascinating question and some individuals have discovered the answer the hard way. When a bark scorpion meets its demise, its tail extends straight behind its body. Stepping on it results in an abrupt, sharp shock. The departed scorpion, devoid of remorse, will sting you without a second thought. After all, it's no longer among the living. Who's to say if scorpions ponder their actions in the afterlife? Ocean Quahog When exploring the intriguing realm of ocean life is an edible clam species native to the northern Atlantic Ocean. This remarkable creature, deemed a delicacy in many regions, boasts an unexpectedly extended lifespan that has astounded scientists. In a groundbreaking study in Iceland, researchers unearthed a specimen that defied expectations by clocking in at a staggering 5,107 years old. Its incredible longevity lies in its unique ability to resist oxidative stress. While most animals succumb to the damaging effects of oxygen molecules reacting with cell membranes, the ocean quahog's cellular structure exhibits unparalleled resilience, remaining virtually unaffected. The resilience of this ocean-dwelling marvel not only challenges our understanding of marine life, but also opens new avenues for scientific exploration into the secrets of longevity. Hydra At just around 30 millimeters when stretched out, the microscopic marbles known as hydra may seem diminutive, but their resilience is nothing short of remarkable. One fascinating example is the green hydra, a creature intricately intertwined with algae, enabling it to survive and thrive even when dehydrated and facing an oxygen-deprived environment. 
This unique organism prevails thanks to the oxygen supplied by the algae within its structure. Moreover, the hydra possesses an extraordinary genetic capability, one that's both rare and somewhat scary. Should you happen to sever a head or foot, fear not. At the same spot on its body, a new head and foot will regenerate. This process involves the creation of entirely new bodily parts through a genetic fusion of separated single cells and fragments of tissue, showcasing the hydra's astonishing ability to rejuvenate itself. Squids Given the common phrase, fish out of water, it's a curious twist in the narrative, typically implying that aquatic creatures would face imminent demise when removed from their natural habitat. However, squids defy this expectation. Surprisingly, certain squid species willingly venture onto land and showcase a unique adaptation. They can endure for up to 30 minutes without access to water. The catch, however, is that they must ensure a swift return to the aquatic environment before the risk of dehydration sets in. It's undeniably a daring move, leaving us questioning why squids find themselves in this intriguing lineup in the first place. Bees Many people harbor a dislike for bees or find them bothersome, but let's shift our perspective for a moment. They're not wasps, for that we should be genuinely thankful. It's widely known that bees sting only when absolutely necessary. While a sting may occur if the hive is perceived as being in danger, such instances are relatively rare leading to the inevitable demise of the bee. However, there's an intriguing twist to the story. Contrary to popular belief, a bee doesn't meet its end immediately after delivering a sting. There's a window of time between the sting and the eventual demise. Once a bee stings, it can't retract its stinger, resulting in the stinger and digestive tube being torn from its body. Upon pulling away, the bee meets its end due to a ruptured muscle or nerve, Yet, even after you've swatted the bee away, the stinger's nerve cells continue to inject venom into your wound. This phenomenon persists even if the bee has passed away. It's a testament to their work ethic, even in death, that we must acknowledge. Praying Mantis The praying mantis is a very interesting insect, especially because the males have some unique challenges. Unlike some animals where males give birth or support the family, praying mantis males have a surprising fate they get eaten during mating. It's a strange thing that ends their life, but oddly, they keep going. Even though praying mantises also have the natural urge to mate like many other creatures, the male becomes a meal for the female. This gives her the energy she needs to take care of the fertilized eggs. Sometimes the female is so hungry that she eats the male's head while they're still in the process. Surprisingly, the male doesn't seem bothered by this unexpected turn of events, Thinking about it, one might wonder about priorities during the last moments on Earth. In the bigger picture, there could be worse ways to spend those moments. This strange behavior is a perfect example of unexpected things happening in nature. While we might find it odd, if praying mantises could talk, they might be more confused by our less dramatic ways of finding mates. Before moving to number one on this list, take a look at this creature. Say hello to the Sicilian. This creature makes snakes look like soft toys because it doesn't have any arms or legs, just a head. It might be confusing because you can't tell which end is up and it doesn't even have eyes like most animals. The Sicilian has tiny eyes that only know light and dark, making it like the James Bond of the animal world, blending in without being noticed. But wait, there's more. It has two small tentacles on its face, which help it find food and navigate, making it really good at these things. Even though it doesn't have limbs, it's not a problem for this digging expert. It has a strong skull and muscles that are as powerful as a car engine's piston. It's like a silent bulldozer, but not here to harm us. The needle-like teeth it has are just for eating earthworms and insects. It's quite a sight to see. Now, what do you think about this creature with no limbs? Share your thoughts below and let's start a conversation about the Sicilian. Lobsters Lobsters are interesting sea creatures. People know they have some social habits like sticking to one partner and starting the famous Red Lobster restaurant. But there's something not everyone knows. They don't seem to get old. In the animal world, where some creatures can grow new parts, lobsters do something different to stay young. They have this special thing called an enzyme called terase. This makes lobsters unique because most other animals can't keep making and splitting cells like lobsters can. The enzyme helps lobsters protect their chromosomes, which keeps their cells from getting old, like what happens in most animals. 
Because of this special thing, lobsters can live a really long time. But there's a catch. As lobsters grow, their outside shell gets too small, so they have to leave it and find a new one. This is a bit like a person getting too big for their clothes. Even though lobsters can live a long time, their main problem is not really getting old, but getting tired from always looking for new shells. It's like looking at a puzzle piece of the ocean's life, where lobsters show us they can stay young and adapt. But let's leave the dinner table talk out of it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.